six years, Pilak, the bigger umbrella of NetPIL, trained 712 law graduates in social justice skills such as pro bono work, public interest lawyering, and protection of human rights. Yet 97% of these ended up practicing commercial law instead of the social justice law taught. Since the NetPIL Mentee and Mentorship Program was started in 2018, with the support of DGF, the situation has changed greatly. At least now, every year there is an assurance that PILAC and NetPIL's mission is being made, which is to promote and strengthen public interest lawyering as a means to pursue social justice and protection of human rights. Today, now about 10% of the trained lawyers from PILAC get to start off careers in social justice law. In 2018, five fresh law graduates were placed at partner organization working in social justice, handling issues like public interest lawyering, pro bono work, and protection of human rights, and all the five were retained at the host organizations after the one-year program was completed. In 2019, three out of the five were retained on job at the partner organization, bringing the total number within the two years to eight who are practicing social justice law as a result of the program. The mentorship program and uh, the network of public interest lawyers, NetPeer, started two years ago, that is in 2018. And um, it is from lessons learned. The Public Interest Law Clinic, that is PILAC and NITB, we've been churning out a number of students who go through LDC and then they join the marketplace. And when they get into the marketplace, they find commercialized practice. Most of the most of the practice that is there is commercialized. So somewhat they get swallowed up even after being exposed to issues of social justice and public interest litigation. So the question then became how do we support our former students to find a comfortable landing in the workplace out there. Hence the idea of the mentorship program. And what happens with the mentorship program is uh, we identify organizations that pursue social justice, organizations that are interested in public interest litigation, and even those that we can interest in public interest litigation. And so we send a student to each of these organizations for a period of six months now, where they have exposure to issues of social justice and uh, public interest litigation. During the program, the mentees make very interesting discoveries about social justice and public interest litigation. Interacting with people, communities, because people are different in so many ways when you regard them in their social, their social setup, in their political setup, in their economic setup, you get to appreciate them that way. But I also learned a lot in the legal aid world that there's still a lot to do to help people that cannot access justice because there are so many and the main issue that I, dealt, that I encountered was domestic violence. Domestic violence is still here and it takes concerted efforts to end it because of the patriarchy. To social justice, I realized that it takes heart more than interest and passion if you're to work with people, any marginalized group in, a, in this country, Uganda and the worldwide, you really have to have a heart for the people you, you're going to work for because through that, then your services can be felt, they can have a final impact. Uh, the legal profession is growing beyond its usual scope of commercial and going into public interest litigation, which is a very interesting thing because at the end of the day, we help the people who need these services, who cannot access them, who cannot afford them. People living with mental health challenges in Uganda are very many and uh, mostly limited to Butavika Hospital, which is not the case. These people have rights, right to housing, right to food, care, water, medical access, and political rights as well. In regards to social justice, the injustices happen every day. They happen around us. They happen to everyday people. And um, sometimes people that have not even done anything wrong, 
but also in regard to public interest litigation, the interesting thing is that well as all these things are happening, uh, public interest litigation is one thing that can address these challenges. We just have to learn how to use it, when to use it, who to use it with, and it can address all those challenges. Well, uh, my biggest discovery about public interest litigation has actually been um, its depth and how wide it is. Uh, ordinarily, there is a misconception concerning public interest litigation. As lawyers, um, we always thought it was about legal aid and basically about that. After doing our undergraduation, it's all about giving help to the needy legal aid and going to communities, speaking to them. But during this mentorship program, I actually discovered that public interest litigation goes far beyond its stretches more than just providing legal aid to people. For example, um, promoting people's rights or advocacy, all that is part of public interest litigation. My discovery is where, but uh, sometimes uh, the other psychosocial factors contribute to how we realize justice for the indigents and the ma marginalized. I also discovered that um, there are so many people out there who still need the services of lawyers and the women are at the worst end. So I would call upon all the people in the legal profession to take on public interest lawyering and legal aid services provisions for that matter because there are so many people out there who still need the services. The program also cultivates learning, majority mentees and mentors attest to having experienced amazing powerful learning moments that impacted their mentality, knowledge and thought about human rights, the law, work and the people. My most powerful learning moment uh, through Mental Health Uganda, I, I realized that to work in such an environment, you have to shift your mental, your mental, you, the way you think about it. You cannot go in all, I'm a lawyer, um, this is what happens. No, you have to step into the shoes of the people who need these services and become more of human so that you feel where the need is and then you could help implement it at the end of the, the day. The most important thing that I have personally learned is the fact that no matter where we are, we can be victims at any one point. Governments change, laws come into force, situations happen, unexpected scenarios happen and any of us can be a victim. So it's really important that we try to correct the wrong so that we do not fall victims to the same things that we just see and maybe ignore thinking. We are too far from them. I learned a lot, not only about public interest litigation, but it cut across to administration and finance and um, how to work in a team of people and um, how uh, civil society organizations are around. Uh, learning so much in a limited space of time because you had to learn to do quite a number of things at a very fast pace because that's how legal aid works. There's too much to do. You have to adapt immediately. I learned how to offer time and concentration to listen what the vulnerable people have to say. Most times when these people come to us, they have been discouraged from probably previous areas where they have been. They have no hope, so they come to us as the only people who can help them regain their hope. So I would say that public interest litigation is service beyond self. It is beyond the normal legal practice. It's beyond the mere drafting and representing someone in court. It's, it's, it's more than the casual conversation that a lawyer, client, a lawyer has with their client. It's about reinforcing and preaching hope on these people. Often, after every fruitful learning, inspiration is cultivated. And with the NetPill Mentee and Mentorship Program, it is no different.
the mentees after the six months of engagement have been inspired to make a change. As regards how I will use the knowledge I have learned in my future career aspirations, no matter where my career takes me, be it private practice, public, legal aid service provision, the knowledge I have acquired will always influence the decisions I make, how the quality of legal aid or the quality of legal services that I provide. Um, knowledge about social justice will inform so many of the decisions I make because I know just simply how one decision can be the difference between having somebody on the wrong side of the law. So this knowledge will definitely inform the decisions I make as a lawyer, as a human being, as someone that interacts with people in a way that, that may affect them. I intend to increase my advocacy skills in championing the rights of the woman, empowering the girl child, and also ensuring that women get justice and psychosocial support in their quest for justice. With social justice, I plan on uh, growing it through my legal career because I'm very passionate about human rights. At the end of the day, uh, what matters to me is a happy and healthy world. And if I am to contribute in any way, I can be willing to. So social justice doesn't only end with services that legal providers give. It can go as far as charity. So for me, I am willing to also share the little I have with such people. Thank you. So I intend to start up my own practice. Uh, if I'm to give it a number of years, to be specific, about five years from now, I intend to have my own practice. Right now, what I'm doing is to get knowledge and uh, understanding about how it all runs. Um, I intend to use the administration knowledge that I have acquired during this time to successfully run my own organization, the finance and business knowledge that I've acquired, advocacy and partnerships, connections, because all this is quite important when you are going to be in a society field. Uh, I think I'll do more of uh, attending to such kind of clients and encouraging my other colleagues to join the same line of legal practice and litigation because as I said earlier, so many people out there still need our services, but a few lawyers are willing to give up their time and to offer themselves to reach out to these kind of people. So I would do that and encourage more lawyers to join the same, the same line of litigation and practice. Ed Peel hopes that the program will turn into an incubator model where mentees that have gone through the program are facilitated financially to start their own projects. This will in turn help to reduce the unemployment rate of the youth in the country. To Ned Peel and Pilak for according me this opportunity because it was a huge stepping stone for me in realizing the rights of of women and communities at large. And I pray that God blesses you in your work. And on that note, I'm grateful to Netpeel for the last six months because um, they've helped widen and deepen my understanding of social justice and public interest litigation from a practical perspective, away from um, just reading the cases, but actually being involved informing the statistics, in influencing change, and I look forward to championing that cause. Our founder, the Democratic Governance Facility, who has gladly come on board to see how this project turns out.